Part three. The third group includes the familiar birds of southern woods and gardens. Some of them are heard also in the north. Nine of these follow. The mockingbird is the favorite, singing an ever-changing medley, often repeating each phrase three to five times. Brown Thrasher's song is similar, but each phrase is seldom repeated more than twice. The whistles of the cardinal, in surprising variety, are a pleasing part of all southern gardens. The hesitating whistle of the summer tanager suggests an aureole. Widespread indigo bunting, brilliant blue in some lights but drab in others, has a goldfinch like song, but it is given in couplets. wood sparrow varies its phrases but maintains a plaintive quality throughout its range. This bird in southern Ohio is one of the northern race called Bachman sparrow. Pine Warbler sings a simple chippy-like trill that has a rising inflection. It is heard from the longleaf pines of Florida to the pitch pines of New York and southern Canada.
lively song of the Orchard Oriole is familiar roadside music. Weeks and whistles of the clownish yellow-breasted chat resound in endless variety from brush lines. Part four, the fourth group of birds are those that shun the woods and gardens and frequent the treeless fields and prairies. The first of these is the bobolink, whose rollicking notes are heard at their best when it hovers over the daisies and buttercups of its chosen meadow. whistles are usually given from fence post or telegraph pole bordering a hayfield. Sparrow likewise sings from the roadsides along old meadows, especially in the evening when other birds are silent. prefers bushy pastures and sings its clear double trill from topmost branch of some low bush. Horned lark prefers barren fields with sparse vegetation. It sings best from high in the air, but on this record, it is singing from a boulder in a field near a noisy road. Savannah Sparrow sings its buzzy double trill from a wheat stalk in the hayfield.
the single high trail of the grasshopper sparrow is even more insect-like. To show its complexity, however, the last song will be replayed at one-fourth speed and thereby be reduced in pitch two octaves. cricket-like song of the Henslow sparrow often passes unnoticed in the hayfields. Again, we will repeat the last song at quarter speed. Like the horned lark, the lark sparrow prefers barren fields for its home. In the spring, the petulant killdeer calls its name from coast to coast as it flies in great circles overhead. In the fall, on airport, golf course, or lake shore, its varied calls make up a noisy chorus. Part five, the next group of 13 birds are best known as game birds, and the favorite in the woods of northern United States and Canada is the rough grouse, which mounts to a drumming log and produces spring thunder with its wings. In the southern states, the favorite is the Bob White, and it now whistles its own name, followed by its rally call. gobbling of wild turkeys is no longer heard north of Pennsylvania, but from Georgia to Arizona, they still occur in favored places. This is one of a flock on the Aransas Wildlife Refuge, Texas.
hooting of the sooty grouse from the tops of the firs and spruces is a familiar sound in many parts of the Rocky Mountain area. This one was calling in Yosemite National Park. prairie chickens can still be heard during the spring in some of the north central states in southern Canada. Here they are calling in Wisconsin. gobbling, clucking, and quill rattling of the sharp-tailed grouse on their dancing grounds among the willows and birches can be heard from northern Michigan and Wisconsin to Alaska. Recorded in Wisconsin. Chachalaca is a Mexican game bird. It is found as far north as the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas. They often call in duets. In the deserts of the southwest, the gambles quail is the favorite game bird. The California quail is the familiar game bird in the more humid areas of the Pacific coast. Migratory white winged dove is considered a game bird in the states bordering Mexico. The woodcock of eastern United States and Canada calls at dusk during April and May against a background of spring peepers. First, are heard some loud peeking notes given from the ground, and then wing whistling and twittering as the bird takes off and circles overhead in its courtship flight.
Canada geese are the best known of the North American wild geese, honking as they fly overhead in V formation. They are heard here near Lake Matamesquite in North Carolina. Mallards are the most widespread and best known of all the wild ducks throughout the northern hemisphere. 